Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a account banning speedrun. We're just going to be adding the ability for a admin user to ban or unban uh, user accounts, which will then disable the ability to log in. This will work just like the uh, account security uh, locking we did the other day, where we set it up so that if you fail to enter the correct password X number of times, your account will be locked for a set period of time. Uh, and you'll also receive an email where you can unlock it through the email, or you just wait the like four hour period until your account is unlocked again. We're gonna be using that same system in Devise, but this time we're going to disable the ability to uh, unlock your account and use it for the sake of banning users. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and CD out of this project and then we'll CD or we'll do a Rails new video. We'll CD into that video. We'll do a code dot. So that'll get all that set up. I'll go ahead and close out of this and we can take a look at what we need to do. So the general idea for this is uh, generate a couple of controllers, add the admin functionality, uh, and then handle the actual locking portion of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this over here and move my notes over to here. So to actually get started here, we're gonna have to go ahead and add device. So we're gonna clear the terminal. We'll do a, a bundle add device. It'll add it and run the bundle install command. Once that's done, we should be good to uh, generate our users. So we'll start by doing a Rails G device install. We'll do a Rails G device user command right after that. We'll run both of these at once, and that's good to go there. Next, we have to come over to our app, our models, and our user.rb. And in here, we once again have to add the lockable to it. That's what allows us to lock and unlock the users next thing that we probably want to do is generate a migration. Now for the roles, what we want to do is uh, come in here and do something like a Rails G migration for a role of, uh, what we got to say something like Rails G migration, uh, add role to users, role of type integer, and maybe a default of zero. I don't know if this will work in here. Uh, it doesn't look like it does. So we'll just go ahead, we'll backspace, we'll do the integer. That should do the migration. We can then come over to our DB, oops, our DB and our migrate and our second one here and do a default of zero. Now we can come over to our user model once again. And then in here, what we wanna do is we wanna add that, uh, that role. We can do that either before or after the device. We just put in a enum for a role. We have a regular user and an admin user. That'll work there. The next thing we have to do is come into our actual device migration, come down to the bottom. And the only one we want to do in here is the uh, locked at. We want to uncomment that for the lockable section. We can now come over here to a Rails DB colon migrate to migrate our database. Uh, next, we want to come into our seeds. Now in our seeds, we pretty much just want to uh, create two user accounts. One's going to be an admin user. I'll make that the dean at example.com one. And the other one will be a uh, regular user, which will make the John Doe account. We'll go ahead and save that, run a Rails DB colon seed command. Just test this real quick by doing a Rails C. We'll do user.first.role, that's an admin. And then we can also do a user.second.admin uh, question mark. And that'll also tell us false because they are not an admin user. So that's all working. Cool. Next, let's do a Rails G uh, uh, controller for an admin controller with a dashboard action. And then let's also do a Rails G controller pages home for a home action. Takes care of that. Now let's come into our routes. I'm gonna go ahead and close some of this stuff and we'll come into our config and our routes.rb. Now in the routes themselves, uh, we kind of just wanna add like a bunch of stuff in here. For our root, we want to change the get to a root here for the pages. Uh, and then we want to add a couple of things here for the admin functionality, which we can do right here. Uh, and I'll, I'll full screen this. We have the get for the admin dashboard. That'll take us to the admin dashboard. We have a post to the admin slash ban where it takes in a user ID. This goes to the admin controller ban user action. And that's to ban a user. We have a similar thing for unbanning a user. Now we're also going to have to modify the device controller to, or the device routes to have a controllers portion where it takes in a registrations uh, controller. 
we have to generate our device controllers. So we'll say, oops, Rails G device colon controller. And this is for the users, I believe. It's unhappy about the, oh, I see there's a space in here, right here. And get rid of this, get rid of this, save this, clear this, run this again. Should hopefully do the device, uh, device controllers maybe. There we go. So that, that works. We now have our controllers. We can now do a comma after the users, do the controllers right here and hit enter on this. That's fine. Okay. So now that we have that, we can come over to, uh, or actually, I don't know if we need the registration controllers to be modified for this. We'll leave it for now, but I'm not sure if this is actually required. Uh, what we're going to do though, is a rails G device colon views. That will give us the device views, which we do need because we need to add in the, the message that says you've been banned. Now let's come into some of our views and actually do this. Let's come into our pages and our homepage. In our homepage, we wanna do uh, just a quick little check if we're the current user. For the current user, we wanna say uh, just a message so we can see which user we're logged in as. Then because we're using Rails 7, we have to add a uh, data turbo method delete block here to be able to log out of our device accounts. Uh, and then at the bottom here, we'll just do a else block that says uh, log in or sign up. So that should be it for the home page. Uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, we want to make sure that in our config and our initializers are devised.rb. And here there should be a lockable section. And in the lockable section, we want to change the unlock strategy to be none. And uh, I think that's about it maybe, or I guess there's also a, uh, a unlock strategy. So we want this to be none. We want the lock strategy to be none and the unlock strategy to be none. So that takes care of that. We'll have to restart our server to make that actually work though. It's just something to be aware of. Uh, the next thing we want to do is come into our dashboards. So we'll come over to our app, our views, our admin and our dashboard. For our dashboard, we're gonna create a table. So we'll just say table, tab. In here, we want a TR, tab on that. And we want a TH uh, times three. Oops, TH times three. Then we want a uh, email, oops, an email. We want a status and we want a action. And then below the TR, we want a, oops, a users.each do, that's cool. We then need a TR. Inside this TR, we need a uh, TD times three. This is all coming from the Emmet tab completion, by the way. And for this, we're just gonna type test, test, and test. So there's a couple blocks of code we need to paste in here, and this just lets me double click and paste each of these blocks of code. And then come in here, and to test if a account is locked, we can use user.access locked, and that'll be how we toggle between banned and unbanned. Then for the last block here, we can just paste this in. I'll go ahead and hit enter on this and enter on this. We check if the access is blocked. If it is, we render the unban button. If it's not blocked, we render the ban button. Simple enough. We'll then tab all of this over. Okay, so that takes care of all of that. We should now have a working system here. Uh, all of this should still be inside of the table, I believe. Everything else should be fine. Looks like my formatter is a little bit broken. There we go. Okay, so that takes care of the dashboard page. Now let's do the uh, the admin controller. So let's come up here to the controllers and the admin controller. In the admin controller, the first thing we have to do is authenticate the user, make sure they're logged in. Then we want to do a before action where we check the admin role. For this, we're gonna have a private section down at the bottom. And then in here, we're gonna have that check admin role block, which is just a real quick check where we redirect to the root path with an alert that says access denied, unless current user dot admin question mark. Remember that's a helper we get because we're using that enum. Now for the actual dashboard, we're gonna get an error unless we create the at users where we're just gonna grab all of the users except for the current user. Uh, we're actually gonna leave that off because that's not necessary. Uh, and then we're gonna come in here uh, and we're gonna say, all right, to ban a user, we're gonna do a user.find based on the params, lock the access, and then redirect to the admin dashboard path with a notice that says we banned the user. We're gonna do the same thing for unbanning, uh, but of course we're gonna call unlock access instead. So that takes care of all of that. The last thing we wanna do here is come into our app views, devise, and our uh, sessions and the new session. And then in the new session, you just kind of want to check if you have a flash message or if you have an alert message. 
I'm just gonna render these uh, specifically on here. Of course, if you weren't doing like spaghetti code for a speed run, uh, you wouldn't wanna have just alerts on one page. You'd probably wanna break this out into, into like an actual partial or something, right? But this will render those alerts that'll tell us what it says. Now, if we come over here and we run a Rails S, we'll come over to uh, localhost port 3000 slash admin, tells us we need to sign in or sign up before continuing. I'm gonna sign in as dean at example.com with a password of password. That allows me to log in. I'm gonna hit control shift N, and then I'm gonna go over to localhost port 3000, click log in as john at doe.com with a password of password. It tells me I'm logged in. So now I'm gonna ban John, that seems to have worked. We got an update over here, so that seems to, to be good. And now if I refresh, it tells me your account is locked. Uh, but I don't want it to just say your account is locked. I wanna customize this message because the lock doesn't seem to imply that they're suffering from the consequences of their actions. So instead we're gonna come into our config, we're gonna go into our uh, locales and we're gonna go into the device.en. Uh, now in here, there should be a uh, en device failure block and in here there should be a locked block where it says your account is locked. Alternatively, you could just uh, see what the message is uh, right here and grab this, come into here, hit control F, paste this in and find it. So I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna say, um, you've been banned have you tried complaining on Twitter or Reddit for customer support? Question mark. Go ahead and save that. I'll come over here. I'll refresh. I'll log in as john at doe.com with a password of password. And there we go. It says you've been banned. Have you tried complaining on uh, Twitter or Reddit for customer support? Go ahead and stop the timer there because we've implemented the banning feature. We can, of course, unban them and we can say uh, john at at doe.com with a password or password and log in and that works just fine so you see it works but yeah okay so that is uh just the quick little functionality i wanted to cover uh it's pretty simple it's uh you know you, you don't necessarily have to use the lock and unlock for this you could of course create your own uh, custom logic for this uh, it's just it's there and if you don't need to uh, use the locking and unlocking for other stuff this is a really quick way to just implement this feature in a way that lets you manage your users pretty easily just make sure you don't ban yourself right uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for me. Hopefully you found this uh, entertaining or interesting or something. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.